In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Trello to create a content calendar. There are so many ways that you can plan your digital marketing content calendar, whether that's for social media or for a blog or for a podcast or for a YouTube channel. Maybe you have a notebook that you carry around with you so you can jot down the ideas when they come to you. Maybe when you're in bed. Or when you're in the shower. Maybe you have a app like brain toss so that you can record your ideas in the moment as they happen and then you try and put them all together into a paper planner or post-it notes we all love post-it notes they can be a really good way to plan out your schedule the problem though is getting all these ideas from these various places where you've put them Stop them clogging up your notebooks and your office with all the post-it notes and putting them in one place so that you can have a production schedule for your content. And that is what Trello will do for you. It's a simple tool. And you know what? Sometimes I think it's a little bit too simple because you can be staring at your blank Trello board wondering what to do. And that's why I'm making this video for you. And of course, the first step is to sign up for a Trello account and then you need to create a board. Now I'm going to show you the type of Trello board that I have set up for my YouTube channel, but this will work for any sort of content you can create. In fact, you could combine all the different sorts of content you create into one single board. To start with, you need to create some columns. So the first one I'm going to create is for content ideas. This is the column where you're going to put down all those ideas that you've jotted down in your notebook, on your planner. Each idea is going to get a new card. The next column is going to be where you create your content schedule. Pick the hottest ideas from your content ideas column and move them in here one at a time. The third column is where you're going to put content once it's published. That means once you've finished your idea, you can move it away from your content schedule and into the published column. It's just like ticking an idea off a to-do list. It's very therapeutic to move stuff here once it's done. The fourth column is for promotion. Just because you published a piece of content, it doesn't mean anyone's looking at it. Adding your content to this list will mean that it's published and it needs promoting. And you could even put old content in this column too if you want to re-promote it and you want to get more eyes on it. So the next step is to create cards. And in that first column, your ideas column, that's where you're going to gather together all your notes from your various notebooks and planners and whatever's going on in your head and put them in there. Each idea gets a new card and your cards can be quite haphazard at this stage. Just one card per idea. You're just gonna throw everything you can think of into this card. When you move it into the content schedule column, you're gonna to need to refine it. So you're gonna give it a better name. Any notes that you have, any detail, maybe it's a keyword that you've identified, maybe you've got five of your 10 ideas, put those all in the description. That means when you go to create, you've got everything that you need in one spot. Next, add a checklist to your card. Checklists are so handy because they mean that you're not going to miss any part of your content creation process. You could either create a checklist for each stage of the content process, so creation and promotion, for example, or you could create one long checklist. I prefer the little checklist because when you finish ticking off the items in the checklist, you feel like you've achieved something. I think it's better for the head.
So you can give your checklist a name. And that means when you come to add a checklist to another card, you'll be able to select the one that you've named and created. You can also add tags or labels as they call them here. And you can choose from a color or you can define what those colors mean. You could use tags to show how this content fits into your customer journey. So maybe you want to go with awareness, consideration, conversion, or if you're more a funnel person, you could go with tofu, mofu, bofu. Or if you're using my three bucket system, you could go with info, engagement, and sales. Or you could use those tags to define where you're posting that content to. Are you posting it to Twitter, to Facebook, to LinkedIn, to Instagram? Is it going on your blog or on your podcast? The nice thing about tags is that you can see straight away at a glance if your content balance is right. Add a due date to your card. So click into dates, choose your date. You can choose a time and you can choose a time that you want to be reminded about it. And you can also set due dates for each item on your checklist. So let's add some of those. Now we're going to do the magic bit where we turn your Trello board into a content calendar. I need to add the calendar power up. If I click into show menu, click on add power up. You can see there's loads for you to choose from. I'm just going to search for calendar. There it is. And you can see that's added a calendar power up button to the top of the board. And when I click that, it will transform the board from board view into calendar view. And as you can see, this is a card and these checklist items have the little check box next to them. If you have a team of people that you're working with, you can assign either the whole card to them or you can assign particular checklist items to them. So for the whole card, you click on members and you would add people. And you can do this, the little picture of the person with the plus button next to it, click on that and you can add people to it there as well. Now you've created your cards and you've added your content calendar, you can attach files to each card. Every content project needs additional information. Maybe it's some notes that your boss has sent you in Google Drive. Maybe you've got images and GIFs and videos that you want to add. Maybe you want to record a quick Loom video to remind you exactly how to do something. All of these can be attached to your cards. And that's it. Voila, you have created your content calendar in Trello. All you need to do is move the cards as you complete them from one column to the next. And you know what? Trello is one of the simplest tools I found for creating a content calendar. Not only does it help you plan out your content in advance, but by using the checklists and the tags, it makes sure that you follow the correct process every single time you create content. If you would like a digital marketing lesson just like this one once a week, subscribe to this channel and click the bell. That way you'll get a notification each time a new lesson goes live.